As you can see, I'm uh, running MTG Arena in my Hyper-V window. That's Hyper-V uh, manager running in the background. Uh, but let's get going. So, this deck I've designed by myself without looking at any other decks, and I've been testing for uh, quite a lot for a while. God, it, it's it's uh, this singleton is uh, a lot harder than uh, than it looks. But I think I finally come up with a, a deck that uh, can do very well, and uh, I thought we'd come and show you. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go over the deck, and obviously there's only one of everything. So one fatal push is quite good to get the two two creatures out. And um, that's in there for double edge really. A for Giving me some life on my own creatures, but also getting rid of um, these um, artifact crew machines, vehicle machines, because so, uh, they can be really annoying. Again, that's just to give it a little creature for death touch, life gain earlier on, and it's only one mana. That one there to give some mana ramp later on. Gives you land. More land, death touch again, cheap and easy to get rid of these big, fast green creatures. Um, I don't like that card much because of the, everything seems to be legendary in this game, but it's still pretty good now and again. That's quite handy, you know, because it's an instant. If, they, if one of your creatures is going to die, you can do that way, or you can sacrifice one of these uh, artifacts to it. Again, another death touch for two mana. Draw a card. Death touch and life link again. Or any play, you know, black, so it's easy enough. That's quite useful for again for drawing cards and cycling and getting rid of them to get rid of one of theirs. Another artifact. Again, two more draws. Death touch rat. Um, thought I'd put that in there. Uh, very good card. Give them two damage, so that like that. Um, again, uh, Storm Black, no problem. Destroy uh, a creature. Thought I'd give that a go. Um, seems alright. Got the Flick 3, which is quite cool. Destroy all creatures that we got really uh, out of hand. That one's quite good. It's a sorcery, but I'm getting a little 2 2 out sometimes. It uh, makes me win the game. But getting rid of planeswalkers, cool. Again, exile. Destroy a creature and do three damage to him. That's uh, an instant that's been quite popular for me. Again, add one mana of any colour. Don't attack with it very often. Give me two life. Draw a card and a 2 2 creature for three mana. I like a bit of that. Um, again, a death touch. It's also flying, which is cool. Uh, in case someone's got some nasty flyers, and if you've lost a creature, um, it's only one mana to cast. Uh, that was quite cool. You get to, you get to look at a card and then put it in your hand, and then you can cast it later on, or like that from opponents. Uh, Our glory exile again a creature. It's an instant. Uh, it's good for the gods. Exile again, four mana sorcery this time now. Enchant player um, just totally keeps whittling away in the background and if you don't win the game within a certain amount of time you, you're never gonna get another uh, exile creature and planeswalker and again life Khan yeah, proved pretty useful gets for drawing get some more cards final reward yep yeah, another exile creature Again, I, just, I like this uh, Planeswalker. Um, I've actually started to use it. I actually used the minus three to grab hold of a guard and attack with it when I killed him. So uh, that's quite useful. But mainly, it's for getting him to discard a card and take two life. This is quite useful. Um, when it comes into play, it does three damage. And when you attack with it, it does three damage. 
uh, to a creature or planeswalker. So it's a, it's like a built-in bolt, which is pretty good. And then the, the flying, um, the crew three. So we'll get a few more creatures in, but it's pretty good. Uh, more more surprising than uh, you know when you play this card, you'll be, be thinking, "God, how do how do I play magic without it?" Uh, again, Death Touch at the minimum. Uh, it's a six six, and the little you must remember because I always forget that you can't reveal it in there too, and you can only do it in your turn. So yeah, uh, just just remember that. And um, this one's a first strike, which uh, six six first strike is pretty hard to uh, deal with with creature blocking kind of ways. But um, it's funny where they can go from like twenty life down to six just by saying, "Oh no, I don't want them to have three cards," and uh, chuck them in the graveyard. And we'll they think, "Oh, okay, they're dead now." Then. Uh, this is very good. It's got no negatives really. I know they're playing walk a bit, but the draw of two cards makes up for that. Also, your spells are one less to cast, which I f forgot. And I thought, oh, okay, I can cast this card. I didn't realize I could. And all your creatures get plus one, plus one. So it's, uh, and obviously it's their planeswalkers as well. So um, that's, everyone seems to be playing with about three or four planeswalkers these days. So you pop that down and then it's annoying. You know, uh, Milan now 16 swamp, two mountains. Um, don't really need this one, but I had one, so I thought I'd put it in there. This card's quite, uh, this card's quite cool for the drawing, because uh, games just seem to last for so long, so I just need to draw. And then this one for exiling all the uh, graveyards, because there's so much graveyard um bring back, especially with blue, you know, cast this, do that, get me planes walker back, put it into play, uh, and they pinch yours as well, uh, from graveyard, so again, I don't really use my graveyard, so exiling and all that, that's good, so it's a nice, easy deck, um, let's look at the stats in here, that's quite useful for people, so 14 creatures, I didn't play with many to start off with, I pumped them up just to put the death touch in there for the the green monster decks, which is like they're amazing how quick they can get a 5 5 or a 10 10 out, and they can't deal with a little 1 1 death touch. So, uh, and you got all your exile creatures as well. Um, land, oh yeah, it's 21, not 22, so yeah, go figure how many land I could draw that game. No, I, uh, please give it a go in comments, and if you want to. You know, I've done lots of, I've done some goody good standard decks. Uh, I don't, I always build my own. I've uh, been net build, uh, deck building for a long time. Um, I got uh, into a PTQ for doing that. Um, I don't, I find some very strange cards, just need practice. And with this arena, it's a cheap way of practicing. Run, uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, I, I never uh, give up, and uh, it's frustrating a few times. But uh, I will now show you why. What you so you, the main things of this deck are exile. You need to use exile it wherever you can. Um, card drawing, mana uh, acceleration, clean your deck of the lands, and uh, and then put some death touch creatures in there. And there's a few little you know, but that's that's the uh, the crux of the game. Um, you do destroy, they're going to get it back, um, so obviously mainly it's exile, and there's, there's quite a few gods out there saying, oh, put it back in your hand, so exile, pop, that goes, so uh, tell me what you think, thank you very much.